Eduardo Nunez with a big pinch hit three run home run in game one of this World Series at Fenway. And he got the hit that produced the go ahead run here tonight in the 13th inning. Just by putting the bat on the ball not credited with an RBI but he doesn't care and neither do the Red Sox who are three outs away from a 3 0 series lead. First up Max Muncy. Fooled on the pitch by Evaldi. It was an earned run that scored in the top of this 13th inning. And the rally started with a walk to Brock Holt. Here's the 01. Inside at 99. One ball, one strike. And if the media or we were talking and wondering about tomorrow's starter for the Red Sox. Right now, Alex Cora couldn't care less. No, he couldn't. Uh, getting the ball, getting the game to this point is an ideal situation for him. Now he hopes it pays off. It's up to Evaldi and the heart of the order for the Dodgers. Over toward his dugout, strike two. Evaldi took over in the 12th at a 1-2-3 inning and struck out Turner. He was hitting triple digits with the fastball. Machado on deck. And then Bellinger. The Dodgers are going to have to show some kind of fight with two strikes, like the Red Sox did for the most part in this night, especially the top half of this inning. Inside, two and two. Because that's all it takes sometimes. I mean, you know, innocently, 0 oh and 2, you figure the hitter's in a disadvantage. Well, he worked the walk. And then you saw what happened after that. That's what the Dodgers mindset's going to have to be here. Anyway, anyhow, get on base. Checked it. Full count. And a good take by Muncie. Great take on a really good pitch that he had been swinging at most of the night. Now you got to tell yourself three and two. Same old rule. If the pitcher thinks you're aggressive, he's going to throw the same type of pitch. Three two pitch. He tried to hold up and did on ball four. And the Boston bench is livid. Cora cannot believe it. The leadoff man is on. Well, I think it looked worse than it than it actually was. He had a violent move with his elbows, but the barrel of the bat is held behind at an angle that I'm sure you can't see from the first base side. Nonetheless, everybody always wants that call. Well, just like in the top of the inning, the hitter was. In this case, Muncie behind on the count, worked the walk. Here's Machado. Thought he had homered back in the sixth inning. Watched it and hit off the wall. Went for a long single. For ball one. Muncy the first to reach against Evaldi in this World Series. Pitching in his fourth inning. Machado with a big swing. Strike two.
Machado's got to find a way to stay off that high fastball. All in for the season, Machado has hit 40 home runs. Thirteen in the regular season with the Dodgers, three more in the postseason. Set up at one and two. Now two and two. Decision here. Three and two. I don't think he can send Muncie. But I didn't think they were going to send Bellinger. Manny Machado. Hits it in the air. Brock Holt is there. One out. And back to first is Muncie. Machado one for six in game three. It'll bring in Cody Bellinger. Uh, he'll be ready to swing from the very first pitch. Mentioned in the start of the game, getting closer, but still not having the production, popping up some pitches, just missing some pitches. Or would he like to time one here? And with this crowd, love to see him time one. Under at first one out, Bellinger leans back from strike one. Bellinger knows how to launch his postseason. He's hit one home run that came in game seven in Milwaukee. The reigning rookie of the year, 39 a year ago, 25 in the regular season in 2018. A ball and a strike. One one to Bellinger. Down and in. Leon behind the plate. Vasquez playing first base. Holding against the tying run. Max Muncie with one out. Short of a home run, obviously, the Dodgers are trying to figure out a way how they can get somebody in scoring position. The Red Sox did it on a Pitch in the dirt. Bellinger didn't go. Three and one. Another great take. Leverage count three and one for Bellinger. The Dodgers have had three walk off wins in a World Series game. Jetto in 47, Jackie Robinson in 56, Kirk Gibson in 1988, Cody Bellinger. 
Full count, big swing. seats and with good base running Muncie goes to second base and the adventures of Eduardo Nunez continue as he ends up in the front row and he had to go a long way to make that catch he did have to go a long way because of the shift and the momentum takes him in over from the stands and he threw the ball back from the stands, and I think Dave Roberts is going to ask the umpires for that very reason. He's got the ball there, and then watch. Uh, we don't follow through. Watch as he throws it from the stands. I think he's going to ask home plate umpire and get the answer he wants. So now Muncy's at second. And Yasiel Puig will be the hitter. Dave Roberts came out, talked to the home plate umpire, Ted Barrett, who is a crew chief. The runner remains at second base. Two down, and the decision now for Alex Cora. You've got a base open. But if you put Puig on, you're putting the potential winning run aboard. On deck is Austin Barnes. Who hit 205 during the regular season? <laughs> the outfielders are dancing around. Holt was looking. Do I need to move? Do I need to change? But he stayed in left field. And we've seen a lot of changes from. Or the outfielder's position based on who's up. Puig could tie it with a hit. Two out. Red Sox leading and strike one as they come right after Yasiel Puig. Puig, an infield hit tonight. One for five. Two for 11 in this World Series with one RBI. There's a big one sitting out there for him here in the 13th inning. The 0-1. Uh, he's had some big hits already in this postseason. He may not have a ton of them, but he's had some big ones. And this usually fits the Yasiel Puig mode. He had the three run home run in game seven of the NLCS in Milwaukee. Looking for a hit to tie it. Muncie at second, the 1 1. That's up the middle. It's backhanded. Throw to first is wide. This game is tied. Kinsler threw it wide. It's 2 2. Getting something to somebody to second base. Watch the footing of Kinsler. He slips, and that slip might have had something to do with the throw. He gets his foot, feet off balance, and he tries to come up and make the throw. And unfortunately for Kinsler and the Red Sox, that allowed the tying run to score. Getting to second base. So big right there on that pop up that went into foul territory. I was just going to say the base running of Muncie. So big. 
when Nunez ended up in the front row. Muncy tagged up, went to second, and then was coming to the plate on that ball up the middle and the throw that got away from Kinsler. And now the umpires get together to make sure that Yasiel Puig should be at first. He's coming back from second base. The game's tied. But Dave Roberts now is going to go out and talk because we went down to second base. The umpires came together, but no review yet as that throw got past the first baseman, Vasquez. And there's that divot with the slip by Ian Kinsler. The question is, did the ball go in the well? And they're going to look at it now. And this will determine whether Puig is at first or in scoring position at second. Something about Puig in this moment locks him in. And nothing bigger at this point in the playoff lives of the Dodgers. You know, Kinsler, and it's easy to say now, Kinsler may have had a little more time than he thought even though it is Yasiel Puig coming down the line. But he made that off balance attempt kind of that sidearm throw. Let's see right there that little slip that got him off balance. I mean Puig looked like he was about halfway. And now the review powered by Mitel. Mitel has been front and center with these reviews. How unbelievable has this inning been where not one ball that got out of the infield has been the reality of us even still talking about it. Well, yeah, it, and the inning started the same way. Yes, for each Top side. half to the bottom half. Hitter fell behind. In that case, it was Holt. In this case, Muncie drew a walk. He threw a walk that was argued vehemently by the Boston dugout thinking that he had swung on a check swing so well, this is no small matter here as to whether this ball went out of play. Let's try to take another look Vasquez didn't touch it. It gets past him and then it goes out of our view. We haven't seen anything. That would say he should definitely be at second base. And what is a 2 2 game? Well, reminiscence of the crazy game last year in the World Series. Obviously, a lot more runs were scored in that game five, and it was game five in Houston, right? Just last year. The craziness yes. of trying to get the final out on several different occasions. Yep. I don't think there's a definitive view. Puig stopped at first and then was alerted by the bench that he should go down to second. The Dodgers thought that ball went out of play. And now he's just trying to get loose. But here's the call by Ted Barrett. And they're going to keep him at first base. So the problem after a review is Dave Roberts can't talk to anybody. To explain or just can't talk after a review has been rendered. You can hear Dave Roberts saying, you can hear and liberate him saying, Can I protest? And he wants to have his say. Right now, the runner, potential winning run, is at first base, not second. Tom Verducci, what did you hear down there? Well, the, the Dodgers' position is that that's not a judgment call. They're saying they might protest because it's a ground rule on the ball going in the well. But clearly, the umpires didn't see enough on the replay to say it did go in the well. That's why they're asking if they could protest. Yeah, just on that replay, the ball was out of our frame. Nothing to say if it did or didn't. Here's Barnes now. Popping up into right. 
Buki Betts is there, and this game is going to the 14th inning. A run. An inning that started with a leadoff walk. Good base running by Max Muncy. He and the Dodgers now smile.